Oh, he's very strong. He's recovering fast. That's good. If there is no complication, then we can discharge him in a couple of days. Doctor, thank you very much. See you. Good evening. <sighs> Hello there. How are you? Thank goodness that he's in a regular room. I just wanted to talk to his doctor before I leave. I'm glad he's doing better. Thank goodness. Uh, I guess you would like to go in now? Go. Didn't the doctor say that I shouldn't get excited? The operation didn't help your sense of humor very much. Were you worried about me? Mm-hmm. Thank you for that. Now I didn't go through all of this for nothing. And I didn't get a blow to my head for nothing. It's obvious it's not for nothing. I still wonder why something like that happened. So why did you even confront her? Well, for you. I confronted her to express myself to you. I already told you. I'll make her confess that she is telling lies. I wanted her to tell, and that's why I followed her. You told the police that it was a coincidence. What could I tell them, Nell? Huh? Everyone believes her anyway. Everybody believes what she says, and that includes you, Nell. What would I say? Would I say I confronted her to express myself to the girl that I'm in love with? And I had to do this to remove this stain. You were the one who forced me to do it. Okay, you're getting tired. I didn't touch her to make her stop thinking that she could slander me again, you know? I only wanted to have a talk. But she started to shout and act crazy. I couldn't go through that again. And then... And then her brother, he came out, out of nowhere, and was shouting. He hit me on the head with a shovel. Again and again. I remember that he hit me when I was on the ground. You know he was arrested. So are they going to let him out now? He was about to kill me. Actually, I, I pity him. He's a poor fellow, and he's the victim of his sister. I saw his photo in the paper. He looks very naive. <laughs> I don't really think that naive is the word. He's a fool. Or why would he want to be a killer for his sister, even when he knows the entire truth? He does whatever they want him to do. On one hand, it's Fatma Ghul, and on the other hand, it's her husband. So why did you close your eyes and let them punish him if you know everything? Those bad things have been happening because we pity them, Nell. I lost my reputation. Look, just look at me. And I was about to lose my life. I don't pity anyone now. Let them suffer the consequences. Well then, I have to get going. To meet with the shabby one? You have a good evening. I'm sure that your visit cheered him up. Thank you so much. Good evening to you. Good evening. 